Okay people, um, today I'm going to do a quick recording on uh, Linux and NVIDIA graphics cards and multi-monitor setups. So I have a, um, a six monitor setup at the moment and what I wanted to do is get three NVIDIA dual head DVI graphics cards working with XR and R. Um, now if you look at the NVIDIA documentation they do talk about R and R 1.4 and um, different things um, but I could not get the XR and R tool to recognize more than one graphics card um, so uh, I'm using XR and R whoops spell it right version um, 1.4.3 um, now with my uh, NVIDIA graphics, uh, NVIDIA, I'm using version 3.4.3.22, which is the latest as of as of the recording um, for both programs, X R and R and um, and the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. Now, if I go X. R and R list providers. It's only showing me one NVIDIA graphics cards, um, and it's saying that there's four outputs. But the two DVIs are meant to be able to be split into different monitors. Um, but I haven't been able to find the cables to do it. Um, but I've got three graphics cards, and basically I wanted all three to be detected. Um, now, in the um, NVIDIA documentation you could got like set output is it set provider output yeah um, where you can go and NVIDIA it's uppercase dash zero for example uh, now it gives me an error message um, now I've also seen people say you can do things like one and zero um, to, to give it extra cards but it doesn't find the index of any of the other cards um, so at the moment in this recording I am using it with um, without Zionorama um, so I'm just using um, it standard and here you can see in um, in the KDE monitor settings you can see that my recording window I'm doing it at um, 720p so I'm recording the whole monitor at 12 1280 by 720 so 720p recording and my second monitor is um, the full the full size and I'm saying that it's above because um, I've got my two 27 inch monitors above each other and then I got four 24s um, so I have another monitor here another monitor here another monitor there and another monitor there but unfortunately XR and R doesn't um, doesn't recognize it now um, you can get it working with all six monitors, um, but um, unfortunately, um, you don't get the proper three like hardware acceleration. Now, if you look at, I'm using Arc Linux, but in in Arc Linux, there's documentation here that says as of August 2013, from three three nineteen upwards, um, Zynorama, um you should use 3.13 driver. Um, now I think this is out of date because I'm using um, I'm using version um, 343 and I'm using kernel 316.4-1 and Designorama is working perfectly for me. Um, so anyway I'll show you um, the config that I'm I'm using um, um, so actually just be xorg.conf is the one I'm using with Zynorama so I'm telling it to load GLX and XMOD um, here's my screen layouts for my um, my six monitors I'm telling Zynorama to be on and um, then you've got basic standard monitor stuff this was all generated with the um, the NVIDIA-X settings tool um, same with the devices um, so you can see here there are my three cards um,
with all the different um, so it's dual head so so 0 to 5 there's my 6 um, DVI heads um, so in the screen section um, I turn on allow GLX with composite to true in the uh, NVIDIA documentation it says that some OpenGL programs may have issues with this and may cause stability problems I haven't had any issues um, I can't remember what this one does off the top of my head but I added it and these two haven't really affected the performance at all as far as I can tell it hasn't made it worse or improved it um, if you only have one graphics card you can turn on um, with two monitors multi GPU on um, and it should use all the G GPU power of your graphics card. Um, SLI is if you've got more than one graphics card but it says in most cases you need to have a bridging cable for that to work in the documentation. Uh, Base Mosaic unfortunately Nvidia broke their drivers um, while they purposely disabled it so you can only use it with up to three monitors so for my situation Base, Base Mosaic um, no good. Um, but um, down the very bottom, um, if you're using um, Zynorama, this option here, composite enabled equals tr enabling this, um, in the documentation says it can give problems, but I, d I don't have any issues with it. Um, and it gives you some, some hardware acceleration um, in... Um, in Zynorama across the six monitors, but it's a little bit sluggish. Um, so with Pipelight, for example, uh, if you turn on Flash um, to get the latest Flash, like the Windows Flash drivers working with with Firefox um, using a custom version of Wine, uh, it does play the YouTube videos perfectly. Um, where if you have this composite um, disabled, the the plugin crashes so this allows me to watch YouTube videos um, on my six monitor setup um, now with Pipelight I've um, I've turned on Unity 3D plugin and the Silverlight 5.1 plugin um, but with Zynorama um, trying to play basic um, basic games doesn't work actually I might even might even um, show you that so if I type in Unity 3D games um, I'll just pull it up. Um, so here's one that I've already downloaded. Now this is without. Um, okay, it doesn't look like. Okay, I've got a screen refresh problem here. All right, let's drag it back down. Now this screen resolution that I'm using is really, really um, small, but you can see this is just using Rand R and R. Um, you can see that it's working perfectly, um, but um, you can actually even make it go full screen. But um, unfortunately, if you um, if you try to um, to to play a basic uh, Unity Unity game with Designorama with my six monitors, it's too sluggish to play. Um, but using the XR and R with um, with two monitors, it, it works it works flawlessly. And uh, with the Silverlight 5.1 plugin that I that I installed. Um, it um it again works flawlessly with um, XR and R with my with just two monitors on one graphics card. But if you try to enable three graphics card and six monitors, it's a little bit sluggish. So the three D acceleration um, by enabling the composite doesn't work properly. It's better than if it's disabled, like flash video. Um, the flash YouTube videos will work okay, but anything more. Than that, it's a little bit unhappy. Um, now, um, just another quick thing. I did try to um, 
try to have just the devices listed um, to see if um, if XR and R would would pick up the extra cards if I only listed the devices. Didn't didn't work. Um, and um, so at the moment for multi monitor setup, what I'm doing is when I when I want to um, when I want to um, use the six monitors. I just basically um, copy the XORG with the six monitors to you know, forward slash etc x11xorg.conf and then I just do like the sudo system ctl restart kdm and then it will restart obviously all the apps I have open would, would die and I, I'd then have my six monitors set up and then if I want to um, if I wanted to um, I've just got my two monitors set up, which I call a game config. I don't really play games, but it works with games, and I'm using it for the screen recording because I can easily change my screen, um, the screen size using the tool here. Um, so it was just convenient. So at the moment, unfortunately, um, XRNR only seems to pick up one one graphics card. Uh, if you've got more than one for NVIDIA anyway. I've seen seen people working with NVIDIA and ATI or NVIDIA and an Intel built-in card so you can get that sort of stuff to work apparently according to the forums but I can't get it to recognize more than one NVIDIA graphics card so um, if you're interested in in multi-monitor setups hopefully hopefully this was um, useful for you and I will stop the recording.